Hi there, I'm Drudder. It's day 96 of my lockdown diary, and today is June 19th, 2020. If you can hear any construction noises in the background, I'm sorry. I'm still living in a construction zone. It has been non-stop since before the beginning of this thing, and uh, I won't go into it any more than that. But there's a lot going on, and I'm not going to talk about all of that. I, I just can't anymore. I've realized that there's so much going on, there's no way I can follow all of it, and that's fine, and people aren't relying on me for information about this. There's other people that are covering it a lot better. So when I want to and when I can, I'll just interject what I feel is important uh, to get out there, or just if I feel I need to say something, I will, I will upload, but, you know, there's no way I can follow everything that's going on, even just here in my little part of the world in British Columbia. But I do want to talk about a couple of things today briefly, I guess, and one of them is this picture here. I'm not even going to link to the article or anything. This is just it was an, an example of a healthcare worker on the left passing a free cloth mask to someone on the right, and there's just so many things wrong with this. I mean, aside from the whole turnstile thing, blocking people off from getting transit around their area, unless they have ID, but aside from that, and aside from the Big Brother cameras in the corners of the room watching everything, aside from all that, <laughs> there's so many things wrong with this. Uh, I don't know why the person actually needs a free mask if they're, they already have a mask, but maybe their mask is soiled. After all, they don't work after a short time and have to be taken off. Otherwise, they are essentially transmitting any kind of microbes from your environment directly into your mouth and nose. So uh, if you've been wearing it for too long, that's not a good thing also. So... Uh, besides that, it, there's the idea that this woman is wearing gloves on the left. This woman's wearing gloves and passing it to the other woman. And the idea, I guess, is that gloves mean that there are no germs. But that's not true. Gloves carry germs just as much as hands do. Unless you're constantly taking the glove off and throwing it away or washing it, that glove actually is accumulating germs. I've seen cashiers for years that, you know, they'll wear a pair of gloves. They'll wear it every, they'll wear it for days on end and take it off at the end of the shift and just save it aside and put it back on at the beginning of the next shift. They're handling money and food all in the same time and people and touching people and stuff. And these gloves are black with dirt. You know, people don't understand. They think gloves are there to protect the wearer. The gloves are there in part to protect the wearer, but they're also there to protect other people. And if you're just spreading germs with those gloves, you know, that, that, thing that's being handed over, that cloth mask, is not clean, it's not sterile, it's being touched, well it's been in a bag with who knows what else, but now it's being passed by a gloved hand, and that glove has probably touched all kinds of surfaces and things before, since it was last changed, passing over to this woman on the right for her to put onto her face when she takes the other one off. Now, I'll leave it there, but there's just so much wrong with this mask thing, so much wrong with everything. And it is, you know, I, I can't talk about it all. There's just so much going on. But I did want to mention the mask thing for sure. It's, it's coming into play here in BC. They're making it mandatory in most public places. And it's going to be just about everywhere very soon. The mainstream media continues to go to great lengths to try to talk up the level of dangerousness of this virus. They're saying uh, it's worse than a bad flu season now. So they're saying that that meme going around or that idea going around that it's only as bad as a, as a bad flu season, that's now not true because now the inflated numbers, I mean the official numbers, are now match that of a bad flu season. So uh, <laughs> all this changes to the entire world that we've done, all these people we've killed, uh, through, you know, closing hospitals and, and delaying cancer treatment and all that kind of stuff. All these people that have died, all these people that have lost their livelihoods, all the, the, the course of history has been changed forever, but it's okay because it is now as bad as the flu season. And anyone who is seen to be um, perpetuating the myth that it is not extremely dangerous will be found and charged under Canada's terrorism laws. Before I go, I have a blog. I'll put the link down below to this article. I'm starting a new series called Crypto Lunch. This is the first episode. There's my logo. And it will be me trying to find a way to turn cryptocurrency, 
into cash without betraying my privacy using a bank or the government or ID or anything like that. Can it be done? Is crypto truly doable in a private way? Not completely private and anonymous, just with some degree of privacy. Can I get crypto into my hand without using a smart device, without using the government, without using a bank account, without using a smart device or a government ID of any kind? Is it possible? That's what I'm trying to do. And if I can do it, uh, I will post my results. But here's the first post, and I'd like to put a link down below. Check it out, and thanks for watching this video. Talk to you guys soon. Stay well.